Any machine can play games with you. But as a real computer, I can also help with education. Give people the power to be successful. Enable them to create music and produce extraordinary images through my artist's palette. They designed the Atari ST. A real thing, not a plaything. Let Atari tell you how the computer business works. Atari buys chips, the competition buys chips. We buy circuitry, they buy circuitry. We buy plastic, they buy plastic. But they have these expensive attachments that add to their price. So you can buy an ST from Atari with more power than the Apple Macintosh SE and more features than the IBM PS2 Model 50 at about one-third their price. The Atari 520ST has twice the power of many business micros. It handles business with ease. It can paint pictures and make them move. It can play advanced games. Yet it costs less than 300 pounds. The Atari 520ST. Power without the price. Atari stellt die neue Computergeneration vor. Sie haben den kraftvollen 68.000 Mikroprozessor. Das ist Spitzentechnologie. Mit einem Arbeitsspeicher von mindestens 512 Kilobyte RAM. Mit einer Hand alles im Griff. Mit einem Blick klar und übersichtlich zu verstehen. Der Atari hat Standardanschlüsse serienmäßig und einen ungewöhnlich niedrigen Preis. Atari. Wir machen Spitzentechnologie preiswert. Introducing the new Atari. What a turnaround Jack Trammell has wrought at Atari. Video game pioneer Atari rebounds finally into the black. A uh, big name in high tech is back in the news and for a change the news is good. We're back and better than ever. The new Atari has risen like a phoenix from the ashes to emerge as a bold, innovative competitor in the high-tech worlds of both personal computers and video games. When Jack Trammell and team took over the company in the summer of 1984, the challenge was immense, but so was our determination. And the results have been nothing short of amazing. For 1986, our sales were up 82% to $258 million, and profits increased dramatically to $44 million. On November 7, 1986, two and a half years of successes culminated in the new Atari making its debut on the American Stock Exchange to an enthusiastic reception from investors and investment professionals alike. Today, the new Atari is a major force in the computer industry, both here and abroad, and is capitalizing on the resurgence of video games as America's number one game maker. And the new Atari's lean, aggressive management team remains firmly committed to providing consumers with the most product for the least amount of money. Or as we said in our recent print campaign for the 520ST and the 1040ST, introducing technology so advanced, it's affordable. And our ST computers have the critics rate. InfoWorld called them the best hardware value of the year and added from here on, you'd better think of Atari as a major player in the computer game. Microtime stated that the ST was faster and with greater graphics capabilities than an IBM AT. And Byte Magazine wrote, the ST is an amazing bar, much more a computer for the rest of us than Mac ever was. And for 1987, ST prices are lower than ever. Consumers have been equally enthusiastic around the world including the technologically demanding Germans, who have made the ST the leading personal computer in all of Germany. Right now, there are over 700 software programs available for the ST, and dozens of new titles from leading companies are being introduced every month. And it doesn't end here. New and powerful STs are on the drawing boards now that bring sophisticated new applications to the world of personal computing. Here's how we're telling the consumer the exciting ST Power without the price story. 
The chairman of Atari has a motto he'd like us to follow. So Atari is going to show you that despite its image, IBM charges too much for the memory it gives you. That Apple Macintosh Plus costs far too much for the memory it gives you. Atari won't do that to be malicious, but to demonstrate that the Atari ST is nothing less than the best value in personal computers. Who's going to win the computer war? Stay tuned. Let's compare the Macintosh Plus with the Atari 1040 ST. Note the Atari screen is much bigger. And the Atari is in color, good for drawing fruit, let's say. Both use a simple point-and-click system, but Atari's designers make it do more. Listen. The music you're hearing is Atari's, the only one with a built-in MIDI. How much more does all this from Atari cost? Fact is, Atari costs less, one-half less. Let Atari tell you how the computer business works. Atari buys chips. The competition buys chips. We buy circuitry. They buy circuitry. We buy plastic. They buy plastic. But they have these expensive attachments that add to their price. So you can buy an ST from Atari with the same memory as the Macintosh Plus, four times the memory of the IBM PCAT, for about one half, one quarter their price. Here's the Mac Plus from Apple, a good marketing company. So good, this computer with a 1020 frame sells for about 2200 bucks. The AT from IBM, an even better marketing company, 4295 for only 256 k The ST from Atari, same memory as Apple, four times IBM, but half the price of Apple, a quarter of IBM. Hmm, what a terrible marketing company Atari is. Or are they?